at home who are still complaining and they have the runny, itchy, watery eyes and certain medicines, are they safe? Well, here to answer some of these questions, please welcome Dr. Dat Tran, who's a pediatric allergist with uh, Memorial Children's, excuse me, Children's Memorial Herman Hospital and McGovern Medical School over at UT Health. Doctor, welcome. Good morning to you. you. Thank you. Um, so we here have been tracking the pollen levels and it's fair to say they're pretty high for this right. for this particular, right. particular time. Why is it that you see so many cases? Right. So it is definitely higher than last year. You can track some of these. If the viewer out there interested, they can just go to HoustonTex.gov uh, and you can follow these pollen count. And maybe that this year, I noticed that it's gotten a little warmer. Even the winter didn't feel like so much winter. Uh, so one is the pollen counts high, but also viruses are out there. So, you know, when you have sneeze and runny nose and all that, just make sure you differentiate between allergy and infectious. One way, just go out to the uh, drugstore out there and get over-the-counter antihistamine. You pop it in your mouth and within an hour, you probably have a viral infection. But if you do feel relieved and these medications are causing a lot of side effects, making you sleepy, go see an allergist because there are other treatments we can offer you. Okay, so if the over-the-counter kind of stuff doesn't doesn't work, you have to seek medical um, attention. Shots are pretty common, but right. my question is, are they safe for kids? Right. So shots, come on, everyone hate needles, uh, right? Yeah, you told me you were going to try <laughs> that on me and I freaked out for a second. And I tell you, as an allergist, uh, even I hate the needles, but it is the only FDA approved treatment for allergies when other things are not helpful. Okay. But it's known that, you know, a lot of time patients are like, it's painful. I don't, I don't have time during the day to go to a doctor's mm -hmm. office to get these shots. And I hate the local swelling. And sometimes you guys get, I get big major reactions. Was well, known that the oral immunotherapy, oral immunotherapy is instead of getting shots, you give it through your mouth. You know. Now is this the new therapy that you're talking about, slit yeah. as it's commonly referred? Well, yeah, one is slit. Okay. Yes. Tell us about that. But you want to be aware, in allergy, right, the on, there's only one condition that has the most effect, the most efficacious, is interesting. And if you have an ant by allergy or a bee allergy, mm -hmm. when you get shots, you can go cure. Why? Because you got the, the allergy from the bite, and you're given it you by this. Treatment. But for respiratory, when you get it through the nose, this is beneficial, but oftentimes a lot of patients say, I get it, but I get a little effect, but over three years or so and later on, I get the problem again. Right. Because I think it's not the right route. You got it through your nose and your mouth, but you're trying to treat it through an injection. Okay, so if right. injection doesn't work out, what is this that you right. brought in? So, or immunotherapy, the different, the, the most common, and this, you know, in the United States, this is not FDA approved. However, this has been used for over 20 decades worldwide. What is it? How okay, it so basically it is the same. Whatever you're allergic to, the physician, the allergist will make it. So let's say if you're allergic to oak tree then they put in oak tree a very small amount and they build it up and so the slit or the sublingual is what they call you put it underneath your tongue all so right you become accustomed to it right. right doctor thank you so much for coming in very informative right. so again this is not FDA right. approved the shot right. is more common but this is the most important is the the one the new one coming out is Olareg this one is a spray it put a wide spread into your mouth okay so there you go be sure to ask your doctor if those over-the-counter medications are not working for you. Thank you, Doc, for Thank coming you. in. We appreciate it. Speaking of those uh, pollen levels and the allergies, let's check in with Mike right now because maybe the storms are going to blow things around. <laughs> well, when it rains, it does temporarily filter things out. But just like the doctor said, yeah, we get this uh, information coming to us from the City of Houston Health Department, and they are reporting high levels of tree pollen. And it's mostly the oak tree pollen, but we also have several other species of trees mixed in there, including ash and sycamore. We also have medium levels of grass pollen and low levels of mold.